there is this guy called Angry Foreigner who's who made a video about me, whole half an hour just coming with personal attacks and ad hominems, uh, containing nothing of facts, uh, just personal attacks, uh, just meaningless. Uh, so I did a response video because I don't want to let the lies stand unrefuted. Uh, and now this guy apparently has made another half an hour video coming with more personal attacks and ad hominems, not only against me, but also against my followers, in other words you guys who are watching this video. So he's now spent one hour of his time uh, making videos just coming with personal attacks against me. This means that I'm living rent free in this guy's head. Now I'm not gonna let this guy live rent free in my head, uh, so I'm not really gonna waste any more time uh, responding to this guy, you know, I have, I have more important things to do like doing real journalism and reporting what's happening in the world. Unlike that guy who's just coming with personal attacks against other people, which is really... I really don't get the point of those things at all. I'm just going to do a really quick response video here just to show you some more of this guy's lies uh, so that you know that you can't really take him seriously. He's just some guy sitting in his mom's basement attacking people with ad hominems, personal attacks. Hey everyone, so let's go over some feedback I got from Peter Sweden's following after that video I made about him. Angry Foreigner is a communist. Unsub, 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 unsub! Angry Foreigner is nothing but a far left cultural Marxist globalist. So in this new video, this guy starts off by attacking my followers, uh, coming with personal attacks against my followers. So basically you guys are watching this video. Now I'll just let you guys uh, decide for yourself what you think about that. Uh, he also goes on now to criticize uh, Christianity uh, a lot. For the death penalty by quoting from the Bible. Because that's in the Bible too. The Bible also justified slavery and Christianity makes you think that women who have abortions are just as bad as the Nazis. Wow. It doesn't seem to like Christianity at all, this guy. There's a lot of hate in that book. And the only reason your religion is annoying at best right now is because it's been rewritten so many times that it's not even close to the original anymore. It doesn't seem like this guy has uh, chosen the right path, shall we say, but uh, as I said in my previous video, there's always um, there's always a chance to to change your ways and uh, turn on the right path. To add some more perspective to this whole thing as well, uh, and he also brought this up actually in his new video about me, which really is kind of a big self-own from his side. Uh, so on Twitter, he posted uh, this, this cartoon here, which I have had to censor, uh, because it's very graphical. The cartoon appears to be depicting this angry foreigner guy uh, raping me, uh, all tied up in what appears to be in hell. Uh, so, I mean, really, just posting something like this is a massive cell phone, and he basically immediately just destroyed his entire uh, online career. I mean, no one can take him seriously anymore after this at all. But he goes on to defend it in his uh, video about a silly cartoon. They also wouldn't insist that it's rape when it's clearly consensual BDSM and when the artist herself declared her intentions with it and when it doesn't even look like rape. You're being an alarmist again, Peter! Calling me an alarmist for saying that it is... looks like rape? Um, you know, this guy also called me an alarmist for talking about the problems in Sweden. Now he also calls me an alarmist for saying that this picture looks like rape. Well, I'll let you guys decide for yourself uh, whether this looks like rape or not. Because I think anyone that sees this picture sees that this is a disgusting picture and you cannot take him seriously at all after this. If I'm not mistaken, you're the one that told us to choose love. Be loving. Well, that's what I did. Oh, okay, so posting a cartoon uh, showing, depicting you raping me is apparently love now. Okay, I, I, I really think we can trust this guy going forward. Not. And on your passport, it clearly states that you were born in Norway. If that wasn't obvious enough from your Norwegian accent, that never seems to disappear. Ah, so we're going back to this uh, nationality thing again, I see. Uh, I did actually address this in my previous video. I posted a picture of my passport as apparently it seems like he saw it. Uh, it says very clear on my passport, I'm a Swedish citizen. Uh, for whatever reason, he, uh, he wants to point out that I was born in Norway. Yes, I was born in Norway. Just because you were born in Norway doesn't make you Norwegian, you know? Um, 
if a Asian person is born in Sweden, that doesn't make him uh, Swedish, uh, you know? On Twitter and in your tedious video response, you kept repeating how illegitimate it is of me that I used a far left website as my source. Hope Not Hate used official records showing how massively in depth your family is. And again, he wants to talk about this so called tax debt thing, which I already addressed in my previous video. Um, it's a tax dispute between two countries, uh, whether the tax should be paid in the UK or whether it should be paid in Sweden. And this is very clear. Also, this has to do with my parents and not me, so I have no idea why he is bringing it up. Just more personal ad hominem attacks again. I'm sure that you have a Swedish citizenship, but uh, that doesn't mean anything since African migrants get those as well. I've still lived in Sweden much longer than you and therefore it is complete bullshit of you to base your entire persona on being Swedish. Well, isn't it a good thing then that I am actually ethnically Swedish as well? Not only do I have a Swedish passport, Swedish citizenship, I'm actually ethnically Swedish as well. Unlike uh, this angry foreigner guy who's actually not ethnically Swedish. He's actually ethnically from Bosnia. Yet he goes around uh, attacking me uh, because I'm actually Swedish. And he's trying to use this as an argument that I'm not a valid source on Sweden. When, uh, can I ask, how is he then a valid source when he's not ethnically Swedish then? He's actually from Bosnia. Quite a big cell phone there. You haven't been reporting on anything. You've just been sharing links from the Swedish mainstream media about grenade attacks. Yeah. Of course, I sometimes post links to mainstream media. But uh, in case you haven't uh, realized, I actually, unlike this angry foreign guy, I actually do real underground journalism myself. You know, I went to Sicily, I've been to uh, different protests reporting on what's been happening. Uh, for example, I've covered uh, protests that's been happening in the UK. Real News Real interviews. A protest has been happening in Sweden and so on. I've been doing real underground journalism and writing articles and so on. Unlike this angry foreigner guy who's just sitting in his mum's basement spewing bullshit into his microphone. Sweden actually rivals Mexico when it comes to hand grenade attacks. Well, that's funny because your source says that the part about hand grenades was a mistake and has since been removed. So very nice source critique. Well, hello there. I see here that you're actually spreading completely false fake news. I don't know if you can read Swedish, but uh, I'm reading the Swedish here and the text is saying, quote, in an earlier version of the text, it said wrongly that the number of shootings in Sweden uh, was similar to the shootings in Mexico. Uh, this uh, comparison uh, actually had to do with the hand grenades in the both countries, and we have therefore edited the text, unquote. So I'm actually correct. The number of hand grenades in Sweden rivals Mexico. There was some kind of wrong, they had apparently written something wrong regarding shootings, but when it, as far as the hand grenades goes, the number of hand grenades in Sweden rivals that of Mexico. I'm right, and yet again, angry foreigner guy is exposed as spreading completely fake news. Don't you regret those words? Peter hmm, a better question would be, don't you regret your words now that I've just exposed your lies? Even Red Ice TV made a video about this guy. If Nazis who believe that lizard aliens rule the world are telling you that you're an alarmist, maybe it's time to live. I already know that communists don't like me. And I already know that Nazis don't like me. I'm a traditional conservative and both Nazis and communists uh, tend to don't like uh, normal conservatives. So Nazis don't like me. Well, I would consider that a good thing. So I'm just going to end this video, I'm not going to waste any more time uh, responding to this guy's m lies because I've just as clearly shown that this guy is just full of nonsense and uh, I think um, I think you the audience are smart enough to see that because you are very good guys and I mean I would just like uh, to give a big thank you to all of my uh, viewers and supporters you're really good guys and uh, I couldn't do all of this work without you guys, so thank you so much, and thank you for watching this video, and please leave a comment, and hit the like button, 
So while you're here, if you like my work, please consider supporting me on uh, Maker Support or Patreon. Anything is highly appreciated and really helps me to bring you more uh, real journalism, unlike this other guy. Uh, so anything is highly appreciated. I'll leave links below. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you later.